Okay, today we're gonna be greasing a 310 John Deere SL backhoe. And so I'll show you what I use. Um, I use, I'm using this blue uh, grease from Castro. And also I like to use this grease gun pistol grip with the flex hose just to get in all the areas. And also have some WD-40 here because um, this backhoe has 6,000 hours on it. And these knuckles right here will start squeaking once they get older. They're supposed to be sealed bearings. They don't come with grease certs. They have little notches there like they would have grease certs. But um, once the backhoe gets older, it'll start squeaking. And so I'll just take some WD-40 and I'll spray it up right on here, here, and I'll curl back a couple times and it usually takes care of it for a couple days. But anyways, we're gonna show you how all the grease shirts on here. So we're at the cab, uh, when you try uh, climb in. So, all right, we got, and I counted them, we have 49 grease shirts on this machine. So we got one right here at the door. And then you come up here, you'll have one right here you also come down here and there's one underneath here now what a lot of people uh i see miss is uh these these certs right in here there are certs in the axle here so there's actually two of them uh i don't know if you can see that right there let's focus on it but there's two of them in there on each side so come around here we got one right here we got a quick attach on here so we have this one right here also that center one got that one there and then one for the the um, self-leveling and then you have one two in the front another one for the quick attach because we have a quick attach on here you got one right here in the side and you're coming around and we got same deal as the other side got one here now this side's a little different you got one on the side of the chair uh, frame for the axle because it swings and when I grease it I'll uh, lay the hoe out and if you have something on the rear like I have a hoe pack on the rear it'll pick this axle up and then you can turn the wheel for the grease search to grease them something like this anyways you crawl in underneath there and there's one back uh, let's see if we can focus on here it's right in there now that one there um a lot of times it'll come out uh, they'll get uh they'll come out because people run it through mud and it's hard to keep them in there but anyways you got one in underneath there and then you come up one at the fuel tank one at the top there and you come around you got two on the outrigger here you got one right here one right there and then in the rear here you got one two three four five and then you come up you got one here and one here and then you're going up over to boom here and you have one right up in here i don't know if you can see it but anyways and you got also got one right there so you're standing back looking at the machine and work your own back you also got one right here on the dipper cylinder now you got a couple of them back here. So we got one right here, one right here, one right here. You got one back in the back there. You got one right there. And moving around, you also got one right here, one right there. Now you're coming on back through here and then you have one in the center there. And then up top here, you're gonna have one, two. 
Now going down through the side here, you have one right here, and one right here, one, one, and to your outriggers right here and right there. So the backhoe looks a little rough. We had a hose blow today. Um, seems on these John Deere backhoes, you hit about 5,000 hours and you start having hoses. It just had two pinholes in. We had to change the whole thing. Uh, from this, this point, it was for the dipper cylinder. These long hoses right here. And right here at this point right here, it got uh, two little pinholes. And we had to change the whole thing. It's kind of a pain because this is the one on the inside. There, had to pull all these out. But that goes with uh, backhoes. Lots of moving joints. And um, yeah, 49 grease starts, I counted them with the quick attach. Now we also have on this, with this machine, we have a, a J, I think it's a JRB side dump. And uh, I might make a separate video on that, how to grease that. But anyways, that's, that's, Greasing the 310 John Deere's.